Hi, welcome to www.mywealth.com. I'm Bob O'Brien. I'm one of the senior instructors here with the courses. And welcome to today's topic, seven tips to increase your tax refund. And we're getting right into tax season. A lot of you have received your W-2s, 1099s. You want to make certain that you're getting all the deductions that you're entitled to. So I want to go through some of the most common missed deductions. Stock losses. If you change tax preparers or tax computer programs, I've doing tax returns all these years, I've seen people leave behind their tax losses from previous years. You can offset up to $3,000 against ordinary income. So make certain that you're doing good accounting, you're seeing what previous years, the losses there were, and then of course any losses that there were last year in 2008, you want to make certain you're adding those up and, and using all those to offset your income by $3,000 and then carry those forward into future years. Student loan interest. Sometimes people think they get phased out of this a lot quicker than they do. Perhaps your income might have come down. So make certain that you're, you're looking into the student loan interest and, and seeing that if you can deduct that if you have some student loans and you're paying interest on those. Job seeking expenses. Unfortunately, this one's become more popular. A lot of people looking for jobs. Resume fees, career agency fees, and so forth. These are all tax deductible. So if you can take advantage of that, make certain that you do. Education expenses. Uh, a lot of people are going back to school right now um, with the current state of the economy. And this is deductible. It can either be a tax deduction or you can take it as a credit. So you want to make certain that you're either working with a good preparer or a good tax program to see which one's better for you because the deduction can be better for some and the credit can be better for others. So make certain that you're, you're running some numbers and you're making certain which one's better for you and nets out a higher refund for you. Charitable contributions. This is when I see people miss a couple hundred bucks every year. Books to the library, clothes to a POW box, anything that you, you donate to charity, your local church. Make certain that you're, you're taking good records of those and, and you're taking advantage of the deduction on your Schedule A when you're preparing your return because that's all tax deductible. IRAs and 401ks can really be big. As you know, 401k is, is tax deferred money and you can literally save thousands by doing a 401k. Traditional IRA is something you can still do up until April 15th. So you might want to consider taking care of that. Consider doing that because you can save yourself uh, perhaps even $1,000 in taxes this year depending upon what bracket you're in. And you have up until April 15th to do the traditional IRA. Gambling losses. Casinos, racetracks, they're getting a little bit happier about handing out 1099. So make certain that any losses you have, you have some type of accounting for that as well. And this way you could deduct those winnings against the losses. And this way you might not have any tax effect. Perhaps you did win and you do have some. I, I know I, I would have some losses. So make certain that you're taking advantage of that. My name is Bob O'Brien. You sign up for the courses. They're incredibly affordable. 25 hours. In fact, we're running a through tax season, 20% off, and that would be tax deductible as well. So make certain you take advantage of our courses. People have typed in tax questions. They've asked me tax questions. I've been able to get back to them, share my experience with them to make certain they're making the most of their tax refund. And, of course, planning as well, which may be more important than knowing all these little rules is to make certain that you're planning for the year in advance. Again, my name is Bob O'Brien. I'm one of the senior instructors with the course. The website is www.mywealth.com. Thanks for being with me today and I look forward to seeing you in the courses.